About 25 miles south of Chicago lies a stretch of water that's eerily devoid of life. It's not a natural phenomena, but a result of a bold and risky experiment. This stretch of the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal is kept clear of invasive species by an electrified barrier. The goal? To stop an underwater invasion that could devastate an entire ecosystem. What came next? No one saw coming. It all started with a serious threat, Asian carp. These fish had invaded American rivers, and if they reached the Great Lakes, they could wipe out native fish populations and destroy a multi-billion dollar fishing industry. The US government had to act fast, so they turned to something unusual, electrification. In the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal, they installed an electric barrier designed to stop the carp from swimming any further north. The idea was simple. The electricity would stun the fish and turn them back. But the effects of this electrified water didn't just stop at the fish. Once the electricity started flowing through the canal, it wasn't long before strange things began to happen. Fishermen in the area reported odd behavior in the wildlife. Some fish, other than the carp, were getting caught in the electric fields, leaving scientists puzzled about the long-term effects. Then there were the stories of boats malfunctioning, even with the smallest exposure to the electrified waters. The electricity was powerful enough to create bizarre and unexpected ripple effects. And not everyone was prepared for what came next. As the electric barrier continued to operate, the battle with nature became more intense. The Asian carp were relentless. And despite the electrification, some managed to slip through the barriers during maintenance periods or storms. This caused panic among environmentalists, fearing that just a few carp could reproduce rapidly in the Great Lakes. Meanwhile, other aquatic species were showing signs of stress, and researchers started questioning if electrification alone was enough to keep the balance. The canal had become a battleground, with the future of entire ecosystems hanging in the balance. The electrified water caught the public's attention in ways no one expected. Local residents voiced concerns about safety, wondering if the electricity could be harmful to humans. Some questioned if this approach was even ethical, as it put all aquatic life at risk, not just the invasive species. Protests sparked debates on whether there were better ways to solve the problem. Still, with millions of dollars invested and the stakes so high, the government pressed on, determined to protect the Great Lakes at any cost. Years into the electrification project, the results have been mixed. On one hand, the electric barrier has successfully prevented most Asian carp from advancing. On the other hand, Scientists have observed a lasting impact on the waterway's ecosystem. Certain species have declined, and there are still concerns about what might happen if the barrier ever fails. The US continues to innovate, experimenting with new technologies and techniques to fight the invasive species while trying to minimize collateral damage. The electrification project may have shocked everyone at first, but the story is far from over. The fight to save the Great Lakes continues, with new challenges and consequences emerging every day.